Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia and I've popped in with um, a project to share. I have just finished this and it's actually a flip-flop journal, but um, unlike a lot of the others that I've been seeing, it's not actually made from envelopes. It, I followed a tutorial by Valeria from Chasing Paper and she used um, three sheets of 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper uh, to make a similar sized journal and it was a very easy project and I and um, I was actually looking for an easy project to run as a swap on um, the junk journal group in Australia that I admin and I will leave a link in the description box to uh, the chasing paper tutorial so let's uh, have a look it actually measures nine inches by four inches so it's very uh, similar in size to the the um, envelope flip-flops I've just um, used a little bit of seam binding but it doesn't really need anything and um, I'll just show you how it how it opens up it's a very cool um, idea it's pretty much like a concertina um, and using the 12 by 12 paper and following um, chasing papers tutorial makes it really easy so here's my little cover I've actually used um, the scrapbooking paper that I used I'm not sure who makes it because I'd cut off the selvage, but it had, um, this is one of the cards from it. I had four pieces. I had some ephemera and then I had um, three sheets of paper and it kind of had a little bit of um, a vintage circus theme. So I've gone with that in my little journal. So this is one of the ephemera pieces and I've um, created a little pocket with that. Didn't pop anything in it, but you could. Um, made a little dangle with some repurposed bracelet pieces and just a little bit of um, washi tape. So that opens up and um, I haven't used a lot of pockets. I haven't um, added a lot of ephemera because I did want this to be a project uh, for a beginner. So um, there's two things. It makes the journal really bulky, but it's also, um, I wanted it to be a little bit um, more simple. So there are five signatures and they each contain um, five um, sheets of folded paper. And I just used various bits and pieces um, that I had. So this is from um, a cheap little art journal and I have um, tea dyed that. This was from a little novel, the 1930s um, novel that I had and I loved the characters. I thought they looked very comedic. Um, I did reinforce the spine with some washi. I did use some um, paper doily because I love that and I like how it poked out there and how it looked. Um, this is one of the few ephemera pieces that I have used. I love the colours of that. I backed it with um, uh, a piece of paper from an old um, book. And I use that little round pin to hold it in there so I can see it over the top. Um, I will leave links in the description box. Um, I used Graphics Fairy and I used another... Um, set of free uh, circus printables that I found. Um, I found them on Pinterest, but I actually went to the site and they were legit free um, printables. What I found was that because the circus is a great topic, a great um, theme for a children's birthday parties, there is actually a lot of stuff out there. So it's either very cheap or you can find free things. Bit of music, vintage music paper. Um, this is pianola paper, uh, just some tea dyed paper. That's the back of the um, the doily. So you could write on that. I wouldn't. Um, you could decoupage on it as well. And this is one of the other things I found. This was really cool. I love that. Um, <clears throat> so that's a piece of uh, the commercial ephemera, and this is the commercial paper. And I have had this little cute, um, looks like, uh, what does it say? 1925 um, 
from a magazine and it's a little um, uh, puppet show, circus themed. Uh, I did add some pom-pom uh, trim to the bottom of two of the pages. This was um, another piece that I had in my stash. It was from Kaiser Craft. Made that into a large tag. Um, this was another commercial piece I had and I just cut that down to make a tag and then uh, did some Tim Holtz um, tickets. Had that color, little tuck spot. Um, again, um, vintage music paper and it says uh, puppet show. This was a copy of um, an, from, um, drawing in an Enid Blyton book because she wrote several about the circus. I know circuses uh, can be a little bit controversial for some people to use. Um, printable, uh, what do you call those things? Receipt, that'd be it. But you know, they were part of my childhood. I remember going to the circus. We didn't go many times and they were little country, um, little circuses that um, traveled around rural Australia. Um, but you know, I loved um, the trapeze and the clowns and you know, the few animals that they did have. I don't think I saw an elephant. Um, um, so circuses actually have a very old tradition and um, you know, ancient, but modern circuses developed in the um, the 1700s and uh, there were a lot of horse tricks and clowns and things like that. So you can find lots of really vintage images. Tumbling clowns. The three clowns were sent somersaulting and cartwheeling through the streets of the town. And actually, I don't remember there being parades like circus parades that you see when I was a child. Because, I mean, I lived in a small village. So this is um, the cover of uh, some sheet music when it's Circus Day back home. And they're obviously doing the circus parade. This is um, the commercial paper. Very pretty. And then this is the back of it. And so you just keep folding. Such a cool concept. Another piece of vintage um, sheet music, Puppet Suite. And um, this was a large tag from the printable. I can't remember the name of it, but she had gorgeous things. The images um, were similar to the graphics, various ones. And of course, I found some uh, vintage um, circus uh, ephemera uh, featuring poodles. So there's a little toy poodle on a bicycle and I love how this um, female clown's hair matches the dog. She's all very frilly and um, poodles had, a, had quite a history in the circus and they're still used uh, to entertain. They love learning things. And this is one of my favorite images. I saw this, on, I've seen this on Pinterest a lot. And so this was my opportunity to use it. And um, I made that into a faux postcard. I used a real stamp on there. There are certain images that pop up all the time. And, you know, it'd be real, I, I would love to do another, I think I will do another circus uh, journal, a slightly bigger one. So, and this was another one that I found and turned into a postcard, but it was too big to go in here. I love that. Okay, there we are. I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you again soon.